Pope Francis said, in every person, there are potentialities that at times they might not imagine and which can be developed with confidence and solidarity. God the Father is the first to know this. He loves us as we are. Why do I think a Mass like this is important? When you read the scriptures, uh, you see Jesus often dealing with people that the rest of society overlooks and doesn't think much about or wants to push off to the side. And this Mass celebrates the kind of people I think Jesus would have been with. This is who he came to be for. And I think it's wonderful to celebrate all of our gifts that way. I'm so elated that our diocese has this annual mass from the conviction that we need to witness, first of all, to the giftedness, to look beyond whatever the challenges might be, and to see the beauty that God breathes into every human person. All of our parish communities need to be welcoming communities to place no obstacles to those who have special needs, but rather to open our arms as we want to open our hearts and to be as inclusive as we need to be because the love of God is totally inclusive. So that our brothers and sisters can take full part and share their giftedness and take up their baptismal role in serving Christ in his church. Blind is not a, a big, it's not a big disability for me, but I think it's amazing with all these people with disabilities at Mass because you can get stuff in Braille, they can have sign language interpreters, they can have all kinds of stuff. My son Joe is uh, neurologically impaired and he is now an extraordinary minister and he started as an altar server. So, I mean, anybody can do anything. You know, we have to include everybody and not, you know, see people for what they are, not what they look like. I like to go to special masses. It's so, so what God has planned for, for the special needs with people with disabilities. Um, and, I will, and, I, and I would like to become a priest and, 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 help, and help those special needs people. I think Bishop truly said it best, and we are an all-inclusive church, and so we need to celebrate the gifts of everybody that walks in our church. And as an advocate, you know, we work tirelessly day in and day out to make sure that people with disabilities are represented appropriately. But I think it also gives the opportunity for everyone else who attends Mass to be able to share, to be able to see the people with disabilities and to know that they truly are the special people that they are. And as Bishop Gaynor said, we need to celebrate each and every one of us. All of us, every one of us, have a spiritual disability. And so brothers and sisters, we celebrate this wonderful annual mass. We thank God for the giftedness of all of our brothers and sisters. We thank God that he loves us so much. His love is so powerful that it has already conquered death in the resurrection of his son. And he holds out that promise of resurrected glory for you and for me.